Hey guys, welcome back, Pablo here. And for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a real estate agent licensed in Pennsylvania serving Philadelphia and its suburbs. Consider subscribing if you like this video or for more videos like this where I try to help new agents and clients alike navigate through real estate and simplifying the process. That is what I like to call real estate simplified. So let's get right into it. Today's video is gonna be quick and straight to the point. you pass your test and you're now licensed and you're ready to start your real estate journey. Other than picking your broker, what should you do first? What is the first thing you should do when you become a new agent? Should you buy a new computer? Should you buy new clothes or buying the best CRM out there? Sure, having a really great CRM to store your contacts and start connecting with them is really important. And you need that computer for you to be able to do that and maybe you need those clothes to meet new clients. In my opinion, I think the answer is no. The first thing you should do is get a mentor. And if you can, get a mentor before you're actually licensed. A great mentor will help you along the way and help you with what's to come. They have been through it all and their experience is invaluable. Shadow them, ask questions, and offer to help them with filling out forms, going to inspections, going to showings, client showings, listing appointments, anything you can. That way you can soak up everything that they're giving you. That will not only help you when you have your own clients, but it'll also help them as well. Reciprocate the value that they're giving you. We too often forget that a relationship is reciprocal and forget that it's give and take. Don't just take everything they're giving you, but also give something back. I'm definitely guilty of this and definitely need to be more mindful of it. So do your best to show value to them. On the flip side, take what they're giving you and actually use it. There's no point in having a mentor if you're not going to take the advice or feedback that they're giving you. It's only a waste of their time and yours. I have been fortunate enough to not have just one, but two mentors. They have been able to answer all of my questions, provide invaluable advice, and are constantly providing me feedback. I am forever indebted, truly grateful, and honestly, I don't know how I can ever repay them for how much they've helped me in my real estate business. I will do my best, but I will also pay it forward. So to sum it up, if you're thinking of becoming a real estate agent or are a new agent, go find yourself a mentor as soon as you can. It'll be one of the best things that you'll ever do for your real estate business. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't. And don't forget, real estate does not have to be complicated. This is why I like to call it real estate simplified. And if you have any comments, put them down below. I will definitely love hearing from you. See you in the next one. Bye.